Now I want you to continually agitate the greens because the dirt and sand that's on the greens may be stuck between two leaves. You want to separate that. And you want to give it, make sure it's enough water in there. That's to the bottom like that deep. You want to make sure that there's enough water in there. So as the dirt and sand comes off, it doesn't just fall and cling to something else. It goes to the bottom. Now this is our second wash. And as you can see, it's nice and dirty, beautiful color of green though. And we're going to keep doing that until our greens come clean. The water is clean. We're going to do this maybe four or five times. Depends on how much it is. You don't want to bite into your greens and have a grit from sand or dirt. That is the worst thing you could do in collard greens or any kind of other greens. Make sure you wash them properly. We don't want any caterpillars or ladybugs or anything else or dirt or sand in our collard greens. We want just greens, a healthy, nutritious green vegetable. We're gonna continue. Remember, keep the water deep. You want that sand to be able to fall to the bottom of the floor of the tub that you're using. Now I'm using my inside sink, but I also have an outside sink too. But I don't have enough vegetables to do all three, so. I just have this, this one, no one's home, it's just me, so I could do it without interrupting anyone. Okay, we've added some vinegar and some sea salt to the final rinse. And as you can see, the water is clear. It took three rinses to get these clean. And we're gonna let those soak in that vinegar and that salt water bath for about 20 minutes or so if you got it. It could be 10 minutes, but I'm gonna let them soak while I prepare my meat. There you go, that's the process. my garlic I buy it in a big five pound bag and then I put it in small jars like I do my onion got some chicken bouillon paste we have some chicken broth my homemade Creole seasoning that I make with no salt in it and uh, we got some Creole seasoning with salt these both have salt and red pepper and we supposed to put a little bit of sugar in there to cut the tartness but I don't eat sugar anymore I use monk sugar as a replacement it's a uh, teaspoon teaspoon good for you doesn't spike your sugar. So then, and then we got our, our uh, onion, our garlic, and our sh um, shallots. Okay, after all the waiting, there we have it. Collard greens, smoked turkey. And of course, my sweet honey cornbread. There you have it. You must have both of them together. Or you can just have one by itself. It's up to you, but they go hand in hand. Bon appetit.